God is here before I come. God is ahead of the enemy. And that is our security. Because he is ahead of the enemy. Enemy has his own legal right to visit anywhere. He's just doing his duty. But there is something, there is a badge. You know, if you are going on the road, the security agents have a right to stop you. But you also have the right to show them your identity. There is an identity that forbids to be insulted. After you show them your identity and you are still mad and do, you can sue them. But before you show the identity, they may go any mile to want to embarrass you. From today, you will never be embarrassed again. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will never be embarrassed again. We have been looking at the spirit of wisdom, and we are rounding up today with the spirit of wisdom. And God permit me, I'll be talking about two points that you need to consider very well to operate in the spirit of wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing Therefore, get wisdom. With all you're getting, get understanding. And last week, I made you to understand the power of a principal. A principal can dictate many things in the school environment. So when the wisdom of God possess you, it makes you to be in charge. In Proverbs chapter 8 and Psalm 8, wisdom was speaking. He said, God invited me in the foundation of the world. He said, I was there. So everything that was built was built with the consultation of wisdom. And Jesus is wisdom. And the wisdom is available to everybody. Because the Bible says that if anybody lack it, ask. By your asking, God gives liberally and upbraided none without partiality. So you need the spirit of wisdom. And one of the ways to exercise the spirit of wisdom is to make a decision to excel in your present assignment. Somebody say, what of if I don't have assignment? There is no man that is alive without an assignment. You have not only discovered it. When you are no longer useful on earth, God take you away. So that you are alive it shows that there is an assignment that God is expecting you to handle. And that song will, mean, will be meaningful to you when you identify this assignment and you pursue it. Everything created solves a problem. You are not the problem. You are the solution to the problem. You are not part of the problem. You are the solution to the problem. As a matter of fact, it's the problem that gives you relevancy. So the, the Bible says that the power of the just like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day. Why will they be shining? Because the whole world is full of darkness. And it is the presence of darkness that gives glory to light. So you carry glory. Tell your neighbor, check me out. I carry glory. <laughs> Tell another person, check me out. I carry glory. <laughs> I am not without glory. So you need to know the assignment. The fact that you are alive on earth is a proof that God saw a problem that only you, but you can solve. Always the problem God has designed you to solve is for order. You do not choose it. You only recognize it. You do not decide who you are. You only decide who he has made you. Now, one of the pointers to the problem you are meant to solve is when you look around you and you see something that you detest, you hate, 
Maybe you are somebody, you don't like things to be disorganized. You can't stand it. It's an assignment. You are the organizer of that disorganized situation. Most of the time, inability to recognize our assignment is what brings misunderstanding between husband and wife. There are some husbands that are so blessed can throw their shoe anywhere when they get back home. It's grace. Whereas there are wives that can keep those shoes where it's supposed to be. It's grace. Most of the time, women carry higher grace to do multiple things at home than man. Am I communicating? A woman can be backing a child and be cooking and still be washing clothes. A man may not be able to do that, but that man can think on how to manage the family or get money. So everybody has their own assignment. When we don't recognize it, we will begin to think, why is this one not like this? It's not like this because it is not you. You just need to, to, to recognize and when perhaps your husband is asking you for something, don't say, why are you asking? He's asking you before he felt you are responsible to it. And maybe your wife is asking you to do something. You say, ah, can't you do that one? That is area of weakness. You also have your own. So we need to recognize our assignment. We don't decide it. We design it. You check it out. What you ate is a clue to your assignment. There are some people that they don't know the tribal mark that money has. But there are some that are prudent that every penny they can account for it. Now, when two people come together like that and they have such different things, it's supposed to be for opportunity. It shouldn't separate you. It should bring you together. Now, when it comes to this area, a man of God, a bishop, the wife travel. And when the wife travel, it was when the wife travel, she he now discovered that so I've been paying so, so, so amount as tithe. Because it is the wife that collects every money that given to that bishop and we help him to remove his tithe. But the wife was not around. So all the money the man of God collects, a bishop, he didn't know how to tithe it. He was like, wow. It was my wife that had been helping me in this area. Why did Moses become angry when he saw the Israelites physically beaten by Egyptians? He was angry because Moses had been made a deliverer. But you are not to just discover your assignment. You need to be trained lest you mess up with it. Before you mess up with your assignment, you need to be trained. There are some people that their assignment perhaps is to be a shepherd. They can bear many things. Perhaps their assignment is to be a counselor. Not everybody can listen. If you meet people that are not cancelled and you want them to cancel, they go to the point, go to the point. And until you beat about the bush, you can't reach the points. But they cannot just wait. What now happened? Conclusion. And it's until you are allowed to move around, move around, move around, that is the way there could be a comprehensive analysis of what actually bring about the problem you are into. So most of the time, it is always good when you design your assignment and you make it your profession. I am pastoring, I am not working. I don't see it as work because it's just a natural thing, a call that I am into. I just want it to be okay with somebody else. 
that make a difference between a shepherd and a yearling. A yearling can also do the work of a shepherd once he get paid. And a slight of obstacle will make him to drop the message. I mean, to drop the assignment. But a shepherd will turn the obstacle to miracle because that is the calling. There is an assignment that you need to recognize. You are in that family for a purpose. You are in this church for a purpose. I want to bless God for a brother. You know, before, when we come, I will go and preach, bring people from most groups. I will have been tired before mounting the pulpit. And uh, immediately we finish, I will jump to return people. But there is someone that his assignment is equally to drive. And he was like, Pastor, can you allow me to, to come in? And he had been doing it beautifully. It was then I realized that, ah, it's good to have somebody to help you. One assignment that every woman must never forget, the day you stop to be a help to your husband, you have become a disgrace to marital institute. He said, I will get him an help mix. So when you decide, I'm not going to help him. He's you are on your home. I'm in my home. You cannot even mix it together. You are a disgrace. The day you stop to help that man, you have become a disgrace. And the day that man stopped to protect you, is already a sinner. If a Bible say he has denied the faith, he is worse than an infidel. Because an infidel is not even expected to behave that way. An infidel is someone who doesn't know God. So, love is also a part and a clue to your hidden gifts. What is that thing you love? It's a clue to your assignment. So, your decision to excel in your assignment is a demonstration of spirit of wisdom. There are people that the assignment, they don't want people to be sick. They want people to get well on time. When you see those people working in nurse or medical area, they do it, they can do several over time and they will not get tired. There is something that gives you joy when you are in the line of your assignment. Oh, there are some that, you know, what, 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 what's all this thing? We used to have such noise, I mean, nurses in one country that I know. No, the proof of love is the investment of time. Your love and the time you invest in that thing. Look at J.J. Okocha. He's playing and we are paying him for playing. We are paying him for playing. He's just having a nice time. There is this guy that was wasting his assignment before. Uh, 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 Shali, that was just fighting at garage. Why are you fighting at garage when you can be a professional fighter? That they will pay you, you will even have a manager for beating somebody. So when you are able to design your assignment and you get trained, you are able to bring out better things from the assignment. Sometimes, your assignment may not be paying in the area you have. That is why you may need a relocation sometimes. The Bible says the queen of Sheba will rise up against this generation. For she went for the wisdom of Solomon. Very early, the Lord told me that you are a teacher. I said, God forbid. Say, I'm the one. I'm not forbidding it. You are a teacher. Now, why am I saying God forbid? That was when in Lagos, Nigeria, they would say house for rent, not for teacher. And Lord said, you will be a teacher. Ah, I said, no. When I couldn't struggle with that voice, I said, okay, if I must do not in Nigeria. So your assignment is the whole reason you are still on earth. 
you must discover it. Top thing, top ten thing you must know about your assignment. Everything created solve a problem. Everything created solve a problem. That pen you are using is solving a problem of documentation. Without the pen, you know when we are small, we use slate. You know slate and chalk. But you have to clean it. And when you clean it, it, you wipe away. But we now have a pen, we have paper, where we can document things. Your assignment is always the problem God has designed you to solve for others. God has designed you to solve for others. Number three, your assignment is not your decision. It is your discovery. Your assignment is not your decision. It's your discovery. The proof of love is the investment of time. There are some of us that the day we say bye-bye, the day we graduate, is the last day somebody has read a book, except on Sunday, doing Bible reading. We don't just have time to read any book, not even newspaper. Instead of reading book, we, we watch TikTok. <laughs> but we must read, because you must continue to read. Leaders are leaders. To be a leader in your assignment, you must continue to read. You will only have significant sources in something that becomes your obsession, something you think about every day. Some, something you make, you will, you will only make significant sources. When all what you are thinking about, you know, I just come across a place in the Bible, I've, I've, uh, the place kept in occurring. The Lord said to that woman, he said, unto your husband, your love will be. You will be thinking about your husband. When a woman stops thinking about her husband, he's breaking commandment. But most of the time, most women stop thinking about their husband. They think about their children. <laughs> but your husband is the first child you've got. Eh? No. They just shift all the thought they're supposed to think about their husband. They just shift it to their children. A more menu, my children. It's an error. The commandment is that you should think about your husband. That is what the scripture says. So when you think about him, you become that woman in Proverbs chapter 31. The Bible called a virtuous woman. The Bible says her husband is known in the city. When he appears, he says, I don't know her. How come I don't know? Yes, he's the husband of that man. She's a great merchant. She makes things, she works with her hands. So industrious. You will see her husband. She will, will watch her husband before leaving home. Our children, too, they are doing fine. That is the kind of woman that you are. If you are the one I'm talking to, shout hallelujah. You sure? God made place before he made people. Can I tell you something? God has made this place before you arrive. You need to check out. Ask us, we will tell you. There is six prophetic declaration about this place. We are just falling into prophecy. We are not surprised that you have come. We would have been surprised if you did not come. Because God said this place will be a house of people. It will be a house of prosperity. God has said it. I'm not here to do a new thing. I'm just here to fulfill the prophecy that I've been given. And you are also here to fulfill that prophecy. You have an assignment. What is the assignment? Ask for the prophecy. What has been said about this place? One very serious error you could make is to carry your glory to the wrong location. No matter how strong a lion is, he cannot survive inside the sea. The biggest shark cannot live for three hours at the express. So you need to design your assignment and discover the location. Go where you are celebrated instead of where you are tolerated. You will keep increasing. Divine provision is also guaranteed in your place of assignment. 
Money is waiting for you at your place of assignment. Check it out. Every star we have seen today only discover their place of assignment. One thing that may want to deceive you is what you read in school. What some people read in school has become the undoing of their glory. Because they say, ah, this is what I read in school. It doesn't matter. Your assignment supersedes what you read in school. Because it is what we deliver unto you. A life of reward is greater than a life of salary. A life of reward is greater than a life of salary. Number two, quickly, before we round up, you need to make a decision to honor the scriptural shame of authority over you. This is with a promise by God himself when he was giving the commandment. Honor Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 16. Uh, we have been talking about Exodus 2, 11, and 12. But now, Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 16. Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God had commanded thee that the day may be prolonged and that thy day and that it can be well with you. Watch out. Many people that is not well with. What is missing is the place of honor. They don't have somebody they are honoring. They have become so grown, almost contesting for God's deputy. Want to become the deputy God. Anytime God's spirit comes on you, iniquity will be found in you, and it can turn your beauty to ugliness. That was what happened to the anointed cherub. Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 14. Um, you know, Satan was the anointed cherub that covered the face of the Lord. Every part of devil was instrument. And yet you see the best singer, that devil. Because if he touched his head, he's touching the instrument. If he touched his feet, he's touching the instrument. And everyone was so obsessed with his, you know, display that they begin to hail him. And he thought in his heart that I will lift off my throne above the throne of God. How? And iniquity was found in him. He brought him down. He, 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 he now he, he is the, the, the morning star. His real name is morning star. But Jesus is the brighter morning star. So if a morning star without brightness, your glory will not depart from you. Your glory will not depart from you. So you must give honor to authority. Authority is not to control you, it's to put things in order. If the usher says, please sit here, it's not controlling you, it's just putting things in order. If your pastor says, can you fast tomorrow? It's not punishing you. It's polishing you so that you can shine. He said, honor the Lord with your first substance, you know, with your first fruit. Honor the Lord with 10%. Say, ah, instead, Peter, all this pastor, it's not pastor you give tithe to. Of course, I think you know. Because your pastor too also pay tithes. It's lack of understanding that we think that will make a pastor to think that pay tithe and he will eat tithe. There is no pastor that eats tithe that lasts. It's a poison. The glory that belongs to God is a poison if a man should taste it. Poison doesn't recognize your ignorance. Anyone who takes it dies. You won't take poison. So you need to learn how to, you know, you can only be promoted by the person you serve. If you remove yourself from the umbrella of the authority, you have just removed yourself from provision, protection, and promotion. Anytime you remove yourself from the umbrella of authority, 
you have removed yourself from provision, protection, and promotion. Which out of these three you don't want? Provision, protection, and promotion. If you begin to show respect and honor for the chain of authority 